Now, I want to mention the gay pride controversy in the women's AFL competition. I told you last night that the GWS Giants player Hanin Zrika will not play in tonight's game because she refuses to wear the special pride round Guernsey, replete with a rainbow, of course. This is because of her Muslim faith. Now, I reckon it's just a Guernsey. You can wear it anyway. It doesn't affect your own personal views. But Zurika has made her choice, and that's fair enough. Perhaps the club should have just let her play in the normal Guernsey. Perhaps the whole competition ought to leave identity politics alone. I don't know. But what I do know is that if we're going to respect diversity and value tolerance, then we have to allow people the freedom and space to make their own choices. Refusing to wear a gay pride Guernsey does not equate to homophobia. There are all sorts of religious and cultural issues at play and we can't see into the heart or mind of another person. So be and let be. Live and let live. Just as we don't want to discriminate against gay people, why discriminate against Muslims or against Christians, Jews or atheists? But you might see where I'm going with this because Nanine Zrika is going to be OK. She'll miss a game and everyone will respect her, as they should, and we'll all move on. Compare this to another case. Instead of footy, it was rugby. Instead of a woman, it was a man. And instead of the Muslim faith, the Christian faith was in play. Yep, I want to draw the contrast with Israel Folau. His views ended his brilliant career. He was treated with intolerance and intransigence. Hanin Zrika won't get the same treatment. She's being treated the way Falau should have been treated. Just leave people to their views. As long as they don't discriminate against others, as long as they treat people well, tolerate their faith and tolerate their views.